Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got a very interesting knife review slash knife overview to share with you guys. This is the Concept Knives Mini Corvid, which is a teeny tiny little knife, little brother to a monstrous uh, folding knife, uh, also made by Concept called the XL Corvid. Um, to me, and I, I think it's pretty obvious, this is Concept having fun, right? I don't, I don't think there's not, not too much indication that they are taking this particular model ultra seriously. Um, and that's, to me, it's always fun to see in the knife world because there's way too much like ultra serious, right? So this is kind of fun. Uh, we're still going to talk about it. Uh, I'm going to give it a fair review. I will link it and it's uh, XL Brother right down in the descriptions. You guys can check them out. Uh, we'll talk about the price as well. They're not horribly expensive, but definitely an element we're going to cover. Thank you to Concept Knives for sending this in for me to take a look at. Really appreciate it. I will most likely give this away down the road. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe because I do that quite often. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's go ahead and measure this knife. <laughs> Very small. Uh, overall length is coming in at about 3.85 inches. It's not quite four inches. The blade length, um, one and a half inches. <laughs> and the cutting edge, wait, no, that's not right. I'm sorry. Is it? Yeah, one and a half. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's one and a half. <laughs> and then the cutting edge is about 1.3, something like that. How about some size comparisons up against the Ontario Rat Model 1 and the Ontario Rat Model 2? Yeah, it's a, it's pretty small. Um, how about uh, something that might be a little bit more helpful? How about a quarter? There you go. Uh, up against a, uh, a quarter there and uh, just a couple more. Um, the Spyderco Para 3, can we fit it in there? We're zoomed way up today. Spyderco Para 3 and uh, how about the Benchmade Bug Out? This is a, it's a little knife, right? Little teeny tiny knife. Um, anyways, how about uh, <laughs> Gary Profile? There's no pocket clip on this, right? Um, it's actually about as thick as the Spyderco Para 3, right? I don't know how much I want to complain about that, <laughs> you know? Uh, length and height up against the PM2 and Para 3 is pretty tiny. This is not going to be a difficult object to carry outside of the fact that it does not have a pocket clip and it's so small, you might forget that it's in your pocket if you're actually going to carry it. You can get a little, you know, like a key ring and you can buy those little, uh, they're like single deep carry clips that you can attach to anything. You could just create that and it could hang in your pocket. It might, you know, it's, you're less likely to forget that it's there. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're actually going to carry this, no matter how you carry it, excuse me, it's um, not going to be a, much of an inconvenience. Not going to take up much room. What are we looking at for materials? In this case, we have natural G10 steel liners that have been milled out <laughs> for weight reduction and a uh, blade that's made out of, uh, can we see it? 154 cm. That's, that's one of my favorite steels ever. That's great that they decided to, they could have made this out of anything and it would have been, you know, it would have been funny. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a 154cm tiny little butcher thing, uh, butcher knife. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and weigh it, should we? Um, I doubt it weighs very much. Uh, <laughs> they, they milled it out for weight reduction. That's just funny. Um, it weighs uh, 1.38 ounces, so there you go. Good ratios, too. <laughs> um, let's see. How about blade stock thickness? Should we do that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, blade stock thickness on this guy is coming in at 111,000, 110,000, something like that. My, my calibers might be off. Not a super thick blade. Hardware check. Get out my tools. As per usual, my tools are very inexpensive and very recommendable. You can find them right down in the section of my description that talks about the tools I use on this channel. I'm going to guess the pivot is a T8. Yeah. Uh, and then these um, screws back here, there's just a couple of them. Those are going to be T6. Uh, should be, it's a simple um, liner lock. It should be pretty easy to take apart if you really want to. Um, and uh, you know what's funny? It's actually, 
<laughs> it's running on bearings. Can we see it? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see in there. It is running on bearings though. So, I mean, it will, it actually will flip. Um, I think, let's go ahead and jump. This is going to be, this is going to be quick, guys. Um, so this is, uh, this is definitely a, a novelty item, right? This is not something that they were, you know, trying to create a knife for a very specific tactical purpose. This is just a little, it will cut, right? It's sharp enough. In fact, let me get out a piece of paper here just to demonstrate. While the blade is certainly not ground in a way that's, you know, going to make it a laser beam, um, it will, uh, it'll slice. It's not incredible. We're getting, we're kind of tearing away at the paper. Less of a slice. I mean, it's, it's slicing, but the edge is kind of coming up folded over after you, you know, cut. Uh, so it's just kind of thick down at the edge, but it'll do it. You know, if you're sitting at your desk and you need to open a letter, are there better things to open letters? Definitely. Will it do it? Yeah. Uh, you need to open a package, right? Amazon package or whatever. Yeah, this'll do it. Open a box, right? It'll work. It's also definitely kind of a little fidget thing. Um, it will flip. It's kind of satisfying to to flip. It's just funny that the detent is actually tuned properly uh, to allow you to do that. It also, oh, bear with me, it's tiny. There's a chance I'm gonna throw it. You can front flip it. <laughs> it's almost like a challenging, right? And if you, it's hard, to, there's so little to grab onto, but you can also, if you get it just right, can use the fuller, to reverse flick it. Um, why? I don't know. Uh, they could have just, not, you know, not had the flipper tab. You just open it like this. I mean, whatever. Um, it, I don't know that it really matters. It's, it seems kind of stupid to critique it, right? Because it's not taking itself seriously, right? So why should I? Um, it, ergonomically, this is a two finger. It's almost like a one and three quarter finger knife. You're just going to hold it. And most of the time, you're probably going to be holding it like this. You're right, you're gonna be pinching the blade and using it like a little, it's, the blade is almost exactly the same length as a utility razor, right? Um, why would you choose this over a utility razor? I think if you're trying to be practical, you wouldn't, right? There's no serious reason to have this, but I th think that, you know, again, it's, I think it's pretty obvious. They were like, nah, we're not expecting people to, we're not gonna pretend that this is a better choice than anything in any situation, it's just fun, right? I mean, how many of us own things that we just own it because we like it? We don't necessarily need it. It's just fun, it doesn't serve a specific purpose. It's just a neat object, right? That's what this is. I think it's very clear. Uh, taking it any more seriously than that, I think is, is just a waste of time. Um, it looks pretty cool too. It's kind of a neat, it's kind of neat that it's a tiny little folding cleaver, right? Um, everything is done well. The fit and finish on it is great. The action feels a little tiny bit gritty, right? So if you're looking for like the ultra smooth, luxurious action, it's probably not going to find it here. I think a drop of 10 weight nano oil will help a little bit, but you're not going to get a, <laughs> it's isn't going to be a drop shut knife. It's, it's plenty good though for what, you know, for what it's, it's for what it is, right? <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all I can say. Um, edges, all this nicely knocked down. There's, uh, some, it's peel ply texture right here. Fit and finish, again, it's really good for such a tiny object. There's a little lanyard hole here, which is fine. I'm kind of glad that it's there. Uh, if they had included a pocket clip, it would have been hilarious, but it would have needed to be so tiny, right? I, well, that honestly would have made me laugh if they had designed a specific pocket clip for this thing, but it was like this teeny tiny little thing, but they didn't. I think that was probably the smarter choice. Couple of standoffs back here. Like I said, this is a liner lock. Um, so uh, the lockout, <laughs> let's flip it. The lockout <laughs> has no blade play, no slip, no movement at all, no lock stick, no pivot lash, and a nice, <laughs> a nice snappy detent. <laughs> In a way, it's, it's almost like concept is like, yeah, this is a joke, but seriously, like we did make this work, you know? Um, these are made in China. Concept has done a good job with um, their quality control and uh, overall just um, fit and finish in general. That's something you can expect from Concept. You're going to get good fit and finish. Um, so this is G10 steel and a little piece of 154 CM. They still want 60 bucks for it, which is bigger than most budget knives. And normally I'm kind of like, you know, I make fun of people who think small object, but... How come big money for small objects? Small objects should be little money, right? 
because that's that's where our brains initially go is if m more knife may mean more money Ugh. right um but uh you know at the same time i'm also kind of like come on 60 bucks <laughs> um i think it's probably a bit overpriced um for people who just really want to enjoy the novelty of this i mean we're still in budget knife territory i think it would have made a lot more sense if this thing was like you know it's still a piece of 154 which is you know, it's not the. It's definitely not the least expensive steel composition in the world. If you're if you're gonna uh, an, if you're an OEM and you're trying to, but did we talk about centering? It's it's also perfectly centered. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're an OEM, you're trying to buy steel to you know turn into a knife blade. One fifty four cm is definitely not. It's not cheap. It's not eight cr, right? It's not os eight. Um, but it's also not horribly expensive either. We see we see 154 cm pretty regularly now, um, like around the eighty dollar mark in a full size pocket knife, and it still has its place in knives that are utilizing it over a hundred bucks. Right? Protec uses it often on automatic knives that cost a lot more money. Now they're manufacturing knives in the United States, but it's a good composition. I still think though this is it's just not a lot of there, there's. It still takes quite a bit of work to make all of this come together and work properly on such a tiny object, right? But I still feel like, come on, 60 bucks. Then again, it's not terrible. There are plenty of people in this knife enthusiast community who will, who will totally get like, yeah, I get it. It's not supposed to be serious. Sure, 60 bucks, whatever. Uh, you know, it's a fun object. You keep it in your desk at work, you know. I, I couldn't imagine many places be like, oh, you can't keep a, a dangerous object like that in your desk, but I'm sure, you know, check the, <laughs> check the work manual, right? Make sure that it's a, a you know, not a, um, a banned object in your workplace, right? Um, this might be, you know, something that you keep in the little tray in your vehicle, um, or you keep it in your junk drawer, right? You keep it at your, your home office desk or whatever, right? Um, that's kind of, it's just supposed to be a fun object. But I can see a lot of people picking this up just to, just because it's fun, right? That, that's all it is. If you're looking for a serious pocket knife, if you're looking for something to give you a tactical advantage or really just a general advantage in life, just making things like breaking down cardboard boxes uh, easier than using like scissors or whatever, this obviously is not your, right? This is this is not what you want to pick up. The, the, there's there's a million options. In fact, I've got them um, listed on my channel. So this isn't an, an object that I'm going to openly recommend. Like, yeah, it's it's very useful day to day, right? It's it's going to make your life easier. Uh, it might put a smile on your face, right? If you're looking to, you know, have a smile put on your face, or maybe put the smile uh, put a smile on the face of somebody else. Yeah, this is cool, right? That's about that's all it is. It's just fun. I don't know that I really need to go on. I don't know that there's, <laughs> there's not, there's no reason to go on. I'm glad they did this. I hope to see more fun stuff like this from, not just from concept, but just in general in the knife world. I, th I think it's, it's good that we, you know, kind of take a step back and, <laughs> this is kind of funny, right? Every now and then. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it today. Thanks again to concept for sending this in. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.